All right, guys, Sterling here. We got to do a walk around video a little bit easier. Underneath it's clean. You know it's dusty, but it's got good shine to it. Doesn't really need to be buffed or anything like that. Even right here, it's just dirty. This place is a dust storm when it gets dry. Not many nicks or anything. A little bit of haze right there, but it's coming out. It's just dry. I don't see any scratches or anything like that on this side. Some chipping underneath there in the letters. Tires. They're older, but I don't see any dry rotting between the tread. Some oxidation pitting on the rims. Same thing on that one. A few little rust stains. A piece of metal or something that can clean out. Inside the boat's dirty. People have been in and out of it. Boat washers have been a little slow lately. Lower unit, most of the paint on there. I'm digging the prop. Nothing too crazy. This one. Tires. Man, it's got to be the same tires. Same pitting on the rims. Crazy on this side. Nice shine and clear. Bottom of the boat, very clean. Go back to this side. Spare looks good as well. One scratch right there. Right there, no chips and chines. The rain surfaces look good. Go inside the boat. And yes, this thing is disgusting right now. It will clean up. Chips or anything. A little less on the hardware. Something on like that one. <coughs> Sock pit. Pretty dirty. Bunch of foot stains. Repulsion looks alright. Just dusty. Some. I don't know what that is, but some discoloration on the leather itself. Looks like some stress cracking right there. Some more rust staining on the floor. Push on, it's alright. A little stain right there. Same lettering discoloration. Consoles, the voice of the controls, JL audio, a nice little light, jack plate trim, uh, the blinker style. Same thing, just kind of dirty back here. 